everybody. Welcome back. Oh, wow, it has been a long time since I made my last intro video. Actually, watching that, I was shocked at how few horses I had and how little I had going on. Whereas I started this business with one stallion prospect, now I am bringing along four. Whereas I started this process with no broodmares, I now have four. The list of things I have to do in a day just seems to get longer and longer. We've got some really exciting things coming up this year, uh, in the next few months in particular, but really all year is going to be pretty exciting. We've got the Andalusian National Show in the beginning of July, which should be lots of fun. It's going to be our first year there. We're really just going to be focusing on having a good experience, getting the horses some experience, not really worried about being competitive, but it'll be great to get out and get seen. I've had one out of my three foals that are going to be born this year has already been born. That's our lovely Hazel. So we've got two more coming. Mares to breed, horses to train, so much going on. So I hope you guys enjoy getting a peek behind the scenes. So Hazel had her first day out today, which is super exciting. So, you know, she's been in the stall for a few days, just getting used to life, getting used to her legs. And today we turned her and Dolly out. Uh, Dolly was probably more enthusiastic than Hazel. She would not stop rolling, which was quite confusing for Hazel. That seemed to be all Dolly wanted to do. Uh, but Hazel did manage to find her legs a little bit, explore a couple things, and just become acquainted with the outside world. So that's really exciting for her, and hopefully she'll be getting more and more turnout here in the coming weeks. So we did have a rather fun day today. We got a couple of young horses out to a schooling show. So we got out Jax, my black Mustang gelding, and Wilson, my bay question mark breed. Um, these are both horses that I am hopefully getting able to do more things. I've got some working students, some younger working students that want to be able to show them at some point, so they need a bit of show experience. My older working students, Becky and Morgan, took these two to Windsor over the weekend to do some schooling. So we took advantage of the sand ring, we popped over a bunch of jumps, and then we just went in a couple hunter hack classes. You know, were there some baby moments? Absolutely, there were some baby moments. Were there some really great moments? Yes. Overall, I'm really proud of how Morgan and Rebecca rode these horses and how they did, you know, in a new environment. Because they haven't been that many places, they've done a bit of trail riding, but that's pretty much it. So lots of fun, very good learning experience for the horses. Um, Rebecca and Morgan sure enjoyed getting out and getting over some jumps. So, you know, hopefully as we continue to get them out, they will just get better and better. Well, I am patiently waiting for Cleo to have her baby. She is due any day now. Um, she's a very fast deliverer, so I suspect I will miss the actual birth. Although I will be at the farm all this week doing my best to catch her in action. Um, she is just such a great broodmare in terms of quality and temperament and just experience. She's my oldest broodmare. Um, she is 18 this year, so she is getting a little bit more up there. One of our big concerns this year was keeping her at a good weight, which we managed to do. Just the joys of filming. So I am so excited to see her full this year. It's obviously going to be a full sibling to Sid, my mother's horse that she bought from me. Um, <laughs> we're both really excited for that. You know, I'm looking at these foals that are coming out and I'm just thinking, this is exactly what I was picturing and I don't know how I'm getting so lucky. Um, Dolly has already had baby Hazel, obviously. Um, Hazel's looking fantastic. She's got kind of the best of the Andalusian and the best of the quarter horse, which is just great. Um, she's got that lovely neck that she got from V.A. Hassan. She's like got his neck so distinctively. It's so cool just watching, um, you know, seeing which parent is where. 
in the horse's traits. Um, it's so fulfilling and amazing just seeing these foals that I designed. You know, I mean, I hardly did any work, obviously, compared to my broodmares. But it's such a cool feeling saying, yes, I designed this, this is what I wanted, and look how great it's turned out, you know. Um, that's such a fun feeling. And I'm really excited to see what these foals on, go on to do. I think that they're great prospects for Western dressage, working equitation. You know, um, the ones that get really the Andalusian neck, and the Andalusian shoulder, which I think Hazel has, they, I think, are limitless as far as the dressage and the working equitation arenas go. So that'll be really cool. Um, obviously, I'm going to have to sell them, so I'm not getting too attached, but they are really exciting. So, you know, foaling season's always fun. By the way, I do give my cat love. I give him a lot of love. And <laughs> there's just no amount that fulfills the amount of love that Cedric here needs. Cedric's actually a fun story. Uh, Cedric and I have been, what, 12 years we've been, we've been buddies? I think 12 years. Yep, just move all the stuff on the wall, Sedge. Um, his mother was a feral cat who came into the barn at the farm to have her kittens. And... We obviously didn't want an epidemic of feral cats in the barn, so I was about 12 years old when I went and I caught all the kittens, and we caught the mom, we spayed her, we released her. And Cedric was the kitten I kept. Yeah, and all these years later, now we live in my apartment um, about 10 minutes away from the farm. And yeah, as you can see, he's, he's very well loved. <laughs> So this month, um, we've got a lot of hauling off property with B.A. Hassan. We have the Canadian Andalusian and Lusitano National Show coming up in the beginning of July. So preparing him emotionally for that, it's going to be his first really big show. So, you know, I'm going hopefully for the purposes of exposure and to have a good experience at our first big show. I'm not too concerned about, you know, placing. That being said, I want to have him as prepared as I can, so I'm just hauling him out to different barns, hauling him out to different arenas, trying to get that sort of exposure going. I think that he'll be good by the time that the national show comes. I just want him as calm as possible. Let's make it as easy as possible. But yeah, I mean, the result is we have a pretty big June <laughs> as far as the schedule goes. Hey guys, so I had a crazy night last night. Uh, me and Mum both did. As you know, we have been waiting for Cleo to have her foal here. It's going to be a full sibling to Sid, and I am happy to say that last night, or early this morning, she had it. So it's a lovely colt. Um, right now his barn name is Milo, so I'll be working on a registered name for him for sure. Um... Oh, it was a stressful foaling, I'm not going to lie. Basically, um, he came out still completely in the sack and not really aware that he had been born. So, you know, the vet said, we don't know exactly why this happens sometimes. I mean, basically we had to tear the sack off of him. He was limp. He was like a rag doll. And, um... Through just some rubbing and some jousting and some sort of wake up buddy, you know, you're alive. Um, he did start breathing and kind of woke up and was like, oh, here I am, right? Like, everything's fine, I'm out. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a bizarre experience. It was frightening, obviously. It's never good when they're born and they're just not really aware of it. Um, but he looks great now, you know, as soon as we kind of got him with us, uh, jostled him around a little, got him woken up, he was like, oh, I'm here, sat up, you know, he got up really quickly, um, he's been looking really good, he's, you know, he had a good amount of colostrum, we had the vet out, obviously, to check over and make sure everything was okay with him, 
he's not had any type of dummy full syndrome or anything like that, which is, you know, which is because the umbilical cord hadn't broken, so he wasn't actually without oxygen for any amount of time, which is so fortunate, like, so fortunate, I can't even describe. So, he's looking like a normal, healthy foal now, um, normal, healthy foal who just forgot that he was born. <sighs> yeah, I really hope that that's my, my drama for, for this breeding season, but you never know. So, it's the first time that I've had a foal born where things honestly didn't go pretty much how they should go. Like, I've had retained placenta, right, which isn't a huge huge deal or anything, but I've never had a foal come out and not look like it was alive. So, you know, obviously we had the vet out um, in the middle of the night. This all went down around 2.30 a.m. Um, to make sure that he was okay. You know, she took some, some blood today to make sure that he's got everything he needs, but he looks good. He looks like a foal should look. <sighs> so I can't wait, you know, to just see how he develops. He's big. He's a really big foal. Um, he's tall, like he's so tall. I've had, we had Hazel come out this year and she was sort of thick. Like she was not as skinny as you expect a newborn foal to be. But this guy is tall. He's just, he's so tall, I can't get over it. <laughs> um, just considering like the size of his mom. And yeah, he looks great. He looks really special. Um, he will turn gray like the Hassan is gray, right? Um, he will turn that color eventually. It seems to be a very slow developing gray that Hassan has. So we'll see. Right now he looks like a chocolate brown color. Um, but he has the dun gene from his mom and he has the black gene, the black base from the Hassan. So I think he'll shut out probably you know what? I don't know. I'll just show you guys when he sheds out. Because <laughs> I am so sick of making predictions. But, yeah, um, the most stressful falling I've been through, but at least it had a good outcome. And everything looks good. I'm so excited about this guy. Um, yeah, it's really exciting. <laughs>